Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. So now let's let's continue with our tutorial of functions and graph. So today we'll discuss number 10. So where we want to sketch the graph of f and f inverse on the same axis. So now look at this question. You are given the function f of x which is equal to square root of x plus 2 plus 1. So this is third function. So if third function, so we have condition where x plus 2 should be greater than 0. So from there we get this condition. So where x is greater or equal than negative 2. This will be the domain of this function. So now we want to find the range of f. So to find the range of f, we just substitute in negative 2. So therefore you have negative f negative 2 is equal to square root of negative 2 plus 2 plus 1 which give you 1 so therefore you can write the range of f is actually equal to 1 to infinity okay now so we want to find the f inverse which is equivalent to this okay so as usual so you use the properties of f f inverse of x is actually equal to x so now we just substitute in x f inverse into the function so we have square root of f inverse of x and then plus 2 and then plus 1 should be equal to x so from here you get f inverse of x and then plus 2 this one square root equal to sorry this is x equal to x minus 1. You can square both sides. Square both sides. So because you want to cancel off this third. So from there you will get f inverse of x is equal to x minus 1 squared and then minus minus 2. But this is quadratic function. To this function have an inverse so this function should be one to one function. So since we have here x is greater or equal than negative 2, so as for this inverse function. So the x should be greater or equal than greater or equal than 1. x minus 1. The minimum point is the minimum point is 1 negative 2. So it's parabola. So we have both sides. Okay, and then because of we want it in one to one function, so we just take half of the parabola. So we take for x greater or equal than than one. So now we want to sketch the graph of the uh, the graph of f and f inverse. Okay now. So let's sketch the axis first. Okay, so this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Okay, now, so let's find the point that we want to plot in. Okay, so the, for function f, the graph is for x greater or equal than negative 2. So let's say this is negative 2. So it's greater than negative 2. Greater than negative 2 means the graph should be at the right hand side of negative 2. Okay, now, so if you substitute by x by negative 2, then you will get f negative 2 will become 1 because you have square root of negative 2 plus 2 and then plus 1, you get 1. So this is the point, negative 2 and then here we have one. So this is the point. This is negative 2, 1. And then you can find the x-intercept. Sorry, the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, so you just substitute in x by 0. So when x, 0. Then you will get square root of 2 plus 1. So which give you answer 
2.414 you can use your calculator to find this okay now where is the point 0 and then here 2.414 so you can plot this okay now so now you can con connect these two points or you can find another point so let's say you take two so if you take two then you get f2 f2 is equal to square root of 2 plus 2 and then plus 1 so which is equal to 3 so let's say this is a point 3 okay now we can connect the all the three points okay actually this should be it shouldn't be a straight line it's a curve okay now to sketch the f inverse to sketch the f inverse okay let me change the color of the pen okay to you just take this point so this point is negative 2 1 so the inverse of this should be 1 negative 2 so 1 and then here is negative 2 so this should be the point because the domain of f is equal to the range of f inverse and the range of f is equal to the domain of f inverse so that's why we just uh, we just uh, we just terbalikkan lah this point so and then what 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 is another point so here 0 2.414 so we have 2 here 2.414 0 so this is the point and then what else you have point here 2 3 so you find point 3 and then 2 3 2 so now you can connect all these three points okay so this is the f inverse of x and this is the f of x sorry for the horrible graph you can sketch much better than me okay and then what else so state the relationship between the graph of f and f inverse so if you notice that f and f inverse is symmetry about the line y equal to x so it's or in other words we can say that f and f inverse is reflect each other on the line y equal to x so i hope you understand so what what have we discussed just now so for that i want you to try on number 11